What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the Vancouver Canucks holding the fifth overall pick in the 2017 NHL entry draft and who I see the uh, Knocks going with with uh, that pick. Uh, this Again, this is a wide-open draft once you get past Nico and Nolan. Um, and I've seen Velarde there. I've seen Casey Middlestad. I've seen Owen Tippett. I've seen Michael Rasmussen. I've seen Cody Glass. Um, again, there are a number of different ways. They're going with a forward here. That that much I can pretty much take it to the bank on. If Heiskanen drops, then maybe. Um, you know, again, I got Heiskanen going to Dallas third overall. So again, I think they'll be looking to uh, to really get some some skill up front. I I'm ruling Velarde out, and I hate myself for doing this. I think it's going to be a minute before um, Vancouver takes a power forward in the top five. Or yeah, top five again. Um, and I know that's a lazy thing to say, but I, Jake Vertanen is kind of a cautionary tale. And it's also a cautionary tale as to how fucked up the the rule is that you know you, you can't play in the AHL before you're 20, and they you know how badly that screws up prospects. Oh, that's a story for different day. Um, right now, gun at my head with the fifth overall pick. I think they take a little tip it. I think his goal scoring ability. I think his skating and uh, everything about. You know, he's able to create offensively. I think that's going to be a welcome fit in the uh, in the Vancouver organization. You know, again, I, I like Bo Horvat's game. Uh, you know, I think those two can be can really make some some sweet music. That'd be a hell of a duo, London and Mississauga. Um, so that that's that's where I think they're going. Um, you know, again, I I know we regressed a little bit this year. Uh, I didn't put up the numbers anyway, but uh, I like I like Buck. They picked last year. Holy oh, lovey, um, they've got a sneaky good pipeline though had they not fucked up the Vertanen pick and taken Nylander or you know someone of that ilk I think we're having a different discussion and not, I'm not writing Vertanen off and I know I'm going back three years on the draft now and that's not what you guys want to hear but it's my show my rules and I cheat um you know I, I just think you know they, there are some things they would have liked to, do, to have done differently, um, you know, in that organization. I'm sure I, I'm not trying to speak for Trevor Linden or uh, Jim Benning, but it's just the reality of it. Um, so, again, I think grabbing a guy like Tippett with that speed and that goal scoring ability, um, you know, it's, you know, Tippett reminds me of, uh, you know, the more I watch him, a young Phil Kessel. You know, I'm talking about like Kessel when he's at the University of Minnesota. And even. You know, obviously, Kessel now was an excellent NHL player. Phil Kessel is a Stanley Cup champion. Uh, you know, you look at the wrist shot and the, the skating and the way he's able to combine the two of them to be a really dangerous sniper. Um, and that, I see a lot of that in, in Tippett. And I'm not necessarily making that comparison. I just made the comparison. Um, but it's just, it's, I just see that. And, you know, I hope for fans in Vancouver, uh, Jim Benning and Trevor Linden see that as well. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of The Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.